we need to clear some things up about this Dr. Disrespect thing, okay? I'm Shorty Index, and we're going to talk about it. In the background is Medal of Honor Airborne if you're interested in it, because it is kind of a really sick game. I made a video talking about the Dr. Disrespect's twit longer, which was his own words and his own writing and his own quotes. I then at the end of the video gave my opinions on that said thing. Any of you didn't make it that far because you guys got triggered by the fact that somebody called out Dr. Disrespect. Now, after talking to other fellow YouTube creators, I didn't say anything different than them, but for some reason, my community is just fighting against it. Now, I don't know if I've created this problem myself or not, but we're going to talk about it. First off, I have to make this clear. I have a daughter that is only four years younger than the person that Dr. Disrespect was talking to, so I have a little bit of a dog in this fight, too. As a father, there's no fucking gray area here for me. This isn't a oh or this or that. This is, no, you don't fucking do it. Just so we're clear. So my standpoint is pretty steadfast that you just don't do that. I want to cover some of the things that you guys have been saying down in the comment section. The first one is that I'm not a Dr. Disrespect fan, so I'm not allowed to speak on this matter. If you had the attention span that was a little bit longer than a squirrel that was looking for its next nut, you would know that I actually say in the video that I was a Dr. Disrespect fan. I watched Dr. Disrespect during the PUBG days. I watched him during the Fortnite days. I've watched him through the Warzone decade that we've been in now. The Doctor is one of the reasons why I got into content creation as a whole anyway. Him, Legend of Thunder, and Eight Thoughts. They're all older gamers that got into the market later in their years and were able to be successful, and I wanted to have that same result. So I did look up to these three people. Obviously, my content's different than these three people, but they were the reasons why I started off. I watched Doc live. I watched the whole bathroom controversy live. He is literally the only streamer I have ever watched, and it was because in a world that is so fucking virtue signaling and so fucking soft, there's a guy that stands up and does the opposite of all that. Twitch is filled with a bunch of virtue signaling freaking Twitch streamers that constantly tell you how they're always in the right and they're always good and they're always great and everything they say and their opinions on everything is formulated from a place of privilege. But they're so privileged to have the knowledge and the good moral compass that they can talk down to you. Every reaction you watch is fake. Everything they do doesn't feel real. And in that sea of a bunch of virtue signaling losers, there was one guy who stood out and was fighting the norms. And that was a Dr. Disrespect. And I think that's why a lot of people gravitated to him. I think that's why a lot of people are having a lot of uh, disbelief around this situation and giving a lot of pushback. I agree. It's hard to think about the fact that one of our favorite streamers was willing to go this extra step and cross that extra line. But it happened and you have to accept it. I've seen conspiracy theories thrown around that Twitch set him up. Would I be surprised by this? No, not at all. Would it change my opinion on this? No, not at all. So the whole argument goes, and I've, I've tried to dig and find actual true proof for this, and there's really none. None worth putting on my channel and risking my name for. But the theory goes is that two ex-Twitch employees decided to pose as a 17-year-old who said they were 18-year-olds to then talk to Doc to then have him make message inappropriately so then they could take it to the FBI and have Doc taken off Twitch. It's a very elaborate setup, and if that's the case, most people are also deranged mentally. The one thing that all these comments seem to just breeze past is the fact that the Doc had to make the conscious decision to talk to that minor or that 18-year-old as a married man and father of a child. This was a conscious decision that he decided to do, and if he never did it, it would have never made any of this happen if he had never responded then these twitch employees would have had to wasted their time he would still be doing his thing and we wouldn't be in the middle of this controversy but because of the conscious decision that dr disrespect made to talk to said person now we're in the situation that has happened the other problem is is that oh there was he went to court and he was paid out he was paid out for the twitch contract that he had signed with twitch and they wanted to release him part of that would be being paid out for the contract pretty much every contract that everybody has it has the same clause in it that if they terminate the contract you get paid out that's why ninja made billions off of mixer be millions i don't actually know same with Shroud. It's a very common practice in these big streaming platforms where they lock people into contracts. When they want to end their contract, they then go and get them their money. Just because they went to court was because they probably didn't want to pay Dr. Disrespect his money back because they banned him, but then they had to because legally binding contracts had been exchanged. The doc going to court to get paid for his contract had nothing to do with the minor or non-minor, however you want me to word it. It had to do with simply him getting paid out. The second argument or third, whatever we're at, is that he didn't go to jail. Vitaly and Bradley Martin just caught the Disney executive talking with a legitimate 15-year-old in the middle of a restaurant after setting the Disney executive up for doing this, and he didn't go to jail. Does that change your opinion on that guy too? Is it okay that a guy well into his 60s is sitting down with a 15-year-old girl to have the intent to have sex with her? Is that okay? Just because you like somebody does not change the intent that they had. They don't care about you. 
they were thinking from themselves and Dr. Disrespect was thinking for himself when he chose to engage in the conversation. Remember, that was a conscious choice that he made. No one else did and anything past that point doesn't fucking matter. It's not a gray area. It shocks me how many people genuinely think that this is a gray area. It's not. As a father, I would be gutted if somebody did this to my daughter. As a human being, I would be gutted if somebody did it to somebody else's daughter. And or son, it doesn't even matter. As an adult, an adult should never be talking to anybody that young about anything that they would deem by their own words as inappropriate. It's also funny to me the amount of people that seem to have this entire theory and this entire conspiracy built up around the Dr. Disrespect and Twitch and this minor situation and they constantly come into the comment section to tell you you're wrong when all I did was read his exact statement and then give my opinions after that. Yet I'm being told that I'm wrong because of all this other stuff that has no evidence. The evidence that I used was actually in his own goddamn tweet. It kind of shocks me and disgusts me a little bit how many people live in this gray area, but it shouldn't at this point after how easy it is to find predators. You got whole YouTube channels dedicated to just simply doing the very deed that we have done with Dr. Disrespect. They pose, they get, and then they harass the predator. And in all those videos, those predators are different because they're not a guy who wears a wig with a nice mustache and wears sunglasses and yells about video games. So it's okay that we call those people out for doing the exact same thing. Why did we do it? Because they had intent. They sent the messages. That's intent, man. They wanted to. They were going to. They were going to be there. That's the exact same thing that Dr. Disrespect did. He had the intent. He wanted to. He was going to meet with them at TwitchCon. Shit just stopped him. Guess what? For every single person on the planet that has ever done these kind of weird scuzzy things, it all started with intent. Now, it's totally cool if you're going to follow the doctor and all that stuff. I can't stop you. As I said in my first video, man, he's a millionaire. He says in his own tweet that he doesn't give a fuck about you. If you disagree with him talking to a minor, he doesn't give a fuck about you. The only thing I got out of this entire experience is that I just genuinely disgusted by the YouTube community sometimes. And it really, really bothers me how over the top disgusting it is throughout the years we've had so many different issues we had to have a whole content tos change because of the fact that they had it was a bunch of scuzzy losers out there that were going to children's videos and putting stuff to timestamps down in the comment section for other scuzzy losers to find that's why you have channels that have no comments because if you have children in your videos you're not allowed to have comments we had the whole minecraft era where these big ass fucking minecraft players were going out and they were talking to minors because god forbid they have any self-esteem whatsoever People like Lion Maker and all them. I've been around the internet long enough to see that this is just the cycle of things. And let's be real, now that Doc's been caught, there's going to be other streamers that get caught too. It's not going to be a one-off. That's just the way it's been for over a decade. It comes in waves. Now, until the doc releases actual proof or until somebody actually releases proof, all we have to go off of 100% is his own twit longer. That's all I've referenced this entire time was his own talk his own message a lot of you are going oh we'll wait for the messages to come out they're probably never coming because if they were they would have already been here and if he truly did not know the age of the person that would have been his number one defense and with the two twitch ex-employees already exposing him they also would have said something and the doc would have been like hey i was set up by these twitch employees yet none of that stuff has been said yet for some reason you guys are making that the defense for dr disrespect for me personally and this is just where i'm gonna leave it as a father, as an adult, and as a content creator that has seen viral content, I have a TikTok channel with over 460,000 subscribers. Might be less now. I haven't posted in over a year. But in one summer last year, I gained 122 million views and had messages flooding in every single day from all sorts of people. You know what I did? Nothing. Never responded to them. For one simple reason. I don't know who the fuck they are. All I need to know is that I have my own wife and I have my own kids to raise and I don't need to be talking to anybody else about anything else. And the doctor could have made the exact same choice, but instead he decided to talk to this person and he decided to engage in inappropriate conversations and he decided to take it as far as he did before he, before he grew a conscience or it got called out or whatever happened to end the conversation. So if you want to unfollow me because of my stance on talking to minors, I am fucking 152,327% okay with that. You are not a kind of person that I want to have inside of my audience. If you want to mass dislike my video for my opinion on not talking to minors, I'm 127% okay with that. Little confused, but I'm 100% okay with that. And if you're leaving comments down below defending this just arbitrarily, just oh, yeah, it's okay to talk to minors. Like, I've seen some pretty fucking disgusting comments. I'm just going to remove them.
I'm leaving 90% of them up, but the ones that are just straight up just trying to be fucking gross, you're out of here, folks. Now, normally, ladies and gentlemen, I try to end on a high note and tell you guys to have a great day, but I'm going to change it today. I'm just going to say have the day you deserve because throughout this entire scenario, especially here on my channel, I know that this isn't the case for all channels because I've talked to a few other YouTubers who have made content on this. It really seems like we got some, some, some bad seeds to weed out of our content creation community here. We have some real good people here and we have some real fucking creeps. And I'm completely okay with those creeps getting called out and removed. This channel was always about ranting about COD and dabbling into a little bit of the drama. But this drama with Dr. Disrespect hit a little bit closer to home. One, because he was an inspiration for me to start my own journey here on YouTube. Two, because I'm a father. Three, because I have a daughter who is only four years younger than the alleged person that he talked to now. And three, for me, my moral compass is pointing the right way so I'm okay with where I'm at and my opinions on this matter. To me, this isn't a content creation beef. This isn't a person that just needed, it went a little AWOL until I'm proven otherwise, and then I will make a video happily to say that I was wrong because I would love to believe that somebody that I looked up to wasn't a creep. Tell then, I'm gonna stand by my point. Not here to change your mind, not here to change your values, not here to change your moral compass. I'm simply clarifying my stance because clearly I did it wrong in the first video, and I left room for people to think that I needed to be explained to. I'm not going to change anything. Until next time, ladies and gentlemen, have the day you deserve.